Hey guys, and welcome to the deck profile for Black Wings. So, of course, you know Black Wings are being taken off of Daily Duels. No more Black Wings. So, I just want to thank you guys for loading this deck up. Thank you guys for supporting this deck. And, of course, now we're going to have Heraldics in their place. So, today you actually get two Daily Duels. Uh, of course, you already had the Heraldic episode, so if you haven't seen that already, make sure you go see it. But, of course, you get in this deck profile as well. I'm just going to go through the deck, uh, explain some of the choices and such. Of course, this deck did get a few fixings. As you can see, it's Black Wings 2. There's actually a Black Wings 1 that wasn't working out so well. And one of my kind subscribers decided to go ahead and send me their deck, and I made revisions to it. And, yeah, this deck was pretty much being used for the rest of it after uh, it got up dead. So I'm just going to go through the deck right now. Dark Arm. Last Darks in the Ray. And this deck is fairly well at keeping track of what darks are in the grave and what darks are not in the grave, unlike my Yubel deck, which is kind of like just, everybody get to the grave now, now, immediately. This deck is kind of like, okay, well, I have this monster, and I have this other monster, and I attack, I'll drop a loot, and these two monsters die, that'll be three, you know? So, uh, Dark Arm is definitely useful in this deck. It's won me a couple of games, so, Dark Arm, you're welcome to be in this deck. Run through Sorokos. Uh, I'm not sure about the two or the three, but you know, it wins me games. You know, it's kind of like a Cyber Dragon, also it's a Blackwing. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about this deck, it does have consistency problems, like really bad consistency problems. Um, same thing with Harpies. Um, like, unless they make like a tanky slash rota for Wing Beast, um, I just feel like these decks are going to be inconsistent because, you know. You just open up with a hand, and there's no, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, while the other uh, decks, uh, like Gyrgya, Katakuri, and Marmels and such, they have a way to search what they need. But this deck, not really. You know, you just kind of roll with the punches with this deck, you know. You open up like crap, you don't open up with any black wings. Shh, oh well. You know, sure, you got black wings, but you don't got any black wings. So, uh... This card has saved me a couple of times, where I just go, Black Whirlwind, you have a monster, I don't, summon Sirocco, and I can search any monster that's weaker than it, of course, being uh, Shura, which is pretty much the lead Black Wing of the deck, so, yeah. So you can Shura, let's go over to Shura. Shura! You know, when he destroys monster by battle, he special summons one Black Wing with 1500 attack. Um, this guy's great, has 1800 attack, so pretty much get over something, summon Breeze, or summon, uh, Gale, you know, make a 7. And the thing that I always mess up with, and the thing that kind of sucks, and go uh, that goes along with the consistency problem, this deck has to run Pot. This deck has to run Pot, it has consistency issue. So of course you run Pot, you get a Shura, you summon Shura, you attack over your opponent's monster, and of course you don't get your effect, because you can't special summon that turn. So that's where, you know, you're definitely missing out on the full extent of the deck just because, you know, this deck has to run pot. Really big consistency issues. If you watch my episodes of Daily Duels, you will hear me say, this deck has consistency issues, this deck has consistency issues, I'm not getting a good hand, deck has consistency issues, and I'm not, and there's nothing I can do about it, that's the problem, you know. Majority of the other decks, uh, you know, Evil Swarms can generally play through a shitty hand. Uh, Constellars have a lot of search power, so they can generally uh, form into a decent hand. But this deck, you just roll with the punches, and, and you know that can definitely be this deck's downfall, and that's why this deck runs a ton of back row. Now, the problem with this deck is, uh, some Marauder you creates you're fucked. And uh, that, I definitely feel like that's actually a problem, is that if you get Royal Decree, it's pretty much over. This deck is way too reliant on trap cards, and the inconsistency is definitely a problem. Uh, I side Royal Decree. I know a couple other people side Royal Decree. In my opinion, I think you should just side Royal Decree. And if you're so trap heavy reliant and you're losing the Royal Decree, uh, that's your fault. Because you know Royal Decree is a card. Uh, you know, some people complain about Royal Decree, some people want Royal Decree to go down to one. No. Royal Decree is a healthy card and it should stay at three. In the format where we have no heavy storm and a whole bunch of back row, and you want to play back row? Fine, I'll roll decree you. I don't, I'm don't. i not really back row lying. I mean, I'm a little bit of back row here and there is nice and all, but you know, I'm not reliant on it. I don't need it. So, you know, I'll be happy to oblige to roll decree you. Why do you want roll decree to go down to one? Because you're butt hurt and salty? Because you keep on losing the freaking roll decree? Because you run too much back row? It's your problem, you know? Right, yeah, let's put roll decree down to one and let people just chain burn us to death. That's pretty much Konami's way of saying that they don't acknowledge Chain Burn. You know how people, you know how Konami acknowledges that they don't want Chain Burn to exist and they don't like Chain Burn? Have any other Burn cards been made since the existence of Chain Burn? 
No. You know? Konami doesn't like that sacky shit. They have Exodia pieces at one. They put Final Count down to one. I mean, if they want... And they already have uh, Ceasefire at one, which is probably one of the most powerful burn cards. So, yeah. Konami doesn't like burn. They don't like that wind condition sacky shit. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, you just roll to create this deck. They, they pretty much fizzle and lose, and that's definitely a problem. Uh, uh, their Icarus attack, which is one of their main cards, you have to tribute the Black Wing, and then your opponent responds. So, you know, if your opponent goes Icarus attack, tribute one of Black Wings, and you go Royal Decree, they just freaking, what, neg to themselves? It's really sad. It's really sad, you know? So, uh, definitely Royal Decree can definitely be a problem for this deck. So, uh, I definitely don't recommend this deck as a top tier. I already did my top 10 decks of the format. Black Wings were, uh, I think they were honorable mention, but they weren't top tier. And the reason why they weren't top tier? Because this is the issues. That's all I gotta say about this deck. Whenever I mention this deck, whenever I say anything about this deck, and whether it could be, you know, the shit or not, this is the issues. Even Black War, Blue Black Orwin, still, consistency freaking issues. Right. You run out of resources fast, there's really no good way to fill your resources besides Black Whirlwind, but, you know, you're not always going to get that. Anyway, moving on. Run 3 bar. Once again, deck has consistency issues, so we need to run as many Black Wing launchers as pretty much we can get our hands on without, you know, messing up the structure of the deck too much. So, Bora, he's a piercer. He can special summon him. He goes for games. 17, so he can get everything under 17, which is pretty much... You see how it's kind of like an order, you know? So, he can get them. So, yeah. So, yeah. When you sum normal summon him with Black Rowan. So, yeah. I run him. You run one Zephyros, the elite. Uh, he gets things done. So you, you can... You can, like, bounce back a black... You can bounce back one of your black wings and then normal summon it again to, you know, get another search. Of course, he's being 1,600. You can get everything under him, and, you know, it's not really... He's not really worth running three. Like, I just said that you should run a lot of the black wings as much as you can get your hands on, but you can only activate his effect once per duel, and he's not really that good as a black wing monster himself. So, um, you really don't need one. Of course, you, you gotta run three clutes. Clute is a deck. Like, seriously? It's like honest for black wings, you know. Just boost me up by fourteen hundred and just bam, hot in your face, and it's searchable, you know. So, yep, you know, glutes at three, honest at one. Clute is searchable. Honest is not, uh, but you know, honest is way more splashable and more powerful, in my opinion, you know. So yeah, I understand where they're coming from. I mean, OCG just got honest at two. Not that I'm saying honest should be at two or anything. You know, I'm not crazy. But, I'm just saying, they got on his at 2, I don't think it's healthy, I don't like Kalut at 3 either, but, you know, like, that game gonna get hit if it didn't do anything, I think it topped once, I wanna say once or twice, so, uh, yeah. Then we got Gale, Gale's still at 1, people want Gale to go up to 2, people want Gale to go up to 3, I want Gale to stay at 1. Gale is way too powerful to be at any higher than one. And you're probably thinking, what makes Gale so high? That cut in half pretty much makes it so Gale can kill monsters 25. Actually, now I have to say 2550. Cut them in half, and Gale can beat them by itself. By itself. So in OCG, remember how Ophion went down to one? Okay, Gale, cut you in half, kill you. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely, this card was definitely being frowned upon, especially with um, Stardust Dragon being one of the main uh, synchros. Uh, you know, you just summon Gale, cut starters in half, and run it over. Was it who? That's, that's an abomination. Who the hell ever heard of, you know, um, powerful starters getting killed by freaking Gale? So yeah. So I just don't like it. I, I Gale, as powerful as card as it is, once per turn, cutting black wings in half and shit like that. You know, it's just your summonable with, uh, with uh, Shura. You can search it with Black Rowan. Oh. I like it at one, so we're gonna keep it at one. So yeah, gotta run that one gale. The one breeze, breeze putting a little bit of work. Uh, the only problem with breeze is that once it gets in your hand, it kind of sucks. Uh, oh, this is actually out of order. Hold on. Okay, these two are the same. Um, I'm about to say, I'm about to say, I don't remember breeze being able to search for uh, a blizzard. 
Breeze can't. Breeze, I mean, when you normal summon it, you have this. The only one you can search for is Vayu, and Vayu's not that good either. Um, so, yeah. Breeze, when you add it to your hand, by, like, you know, a spell trap or monster, you can just special summon it. So, you know, if you have, like, a black wing on the field, and you, you know, if you have black world, when you activate black world, when summon one of your level 4 black wings, you get one weaker, you get Breeze. Breeze effect. You add it by spell trap or monster, effect, special summon it, and then go ahead and make a 7. So, it's not bad. I'm just not a big fan of it. It really didn't put much work. Uh, Blizzard. Uh, Blizzard. Definitely one of the biggest regrets in the deck, and uh, the reason why. It probably could have done better, but that's probably my fault. I only ran one Blizzard, and in my opinion, Blizzard should be pumped up. Maybe two or three. Blizzard is that good. Uh, and it kind of sucks that it took me that long to realize how good Blizzard was, and I could have sworn I was running more. I just really, I just opened up the deck to do the deck profile. I noticed that Blizzard was only at one, and I'm just kind of shaking my head like, wow, Daniel, that's your bad. <laughs> Uh, of course, this card cannot be special summoned, but when this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level 4 lower black wing monster, and your graveyard face a defense position. It is a tuner, you know? Uh, we just scream about the consistency problems with black world wins when, you know, this can... It doesn't it doesn't hurt the problem, but it kind of uh, doesn't help either, you know? If you don't got any black wing monsters in the grave, obviously this card is not that good, but if you do, you know, you can do some defense plays. Um, you can summon, like, Ashura or Bora and make a 6. You can summon a Clute and make a uh, 5. So, you know, it's just decent. And uh, once again, it's another Blackwing monster. So, yeah. And then the one Blackwing that I'm definitely not a big fan of, I don't use it a lot. I'm not sure if I even want it in here, but, you know, they're like, oh, just run it, run it, it's good, it's good. I don't like it. I don't like it. I would much rather take this out for two Blizzards. I don't like Vayu. I don't think it's that good. But whatever. So yeah, Vayu, you know what it does. When it's in the graveyard, you can sync with it. And, um... Well, you're not actually technically syncing with it. You're just special summoning a synchro monster from the, uh, extra deck, whose levels are equal, you know. And then, of course, the synchro monster effect are negated. So, you know, I'm just not a big fan of Vayu. Now, of course, Vayu has some rulings where you can't negate it, summoning and shit like that. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh's weird. But yeah, Vayu. Alright, let's move on to the spells. Three pots. That has consistency issues. Three MSTs. In this format, if you're not running three MSTs, I don't know what you're doing, because there's a lot of back row, so run three MSTs. Uh, and three Black Rowan, of course, because, you know, that card went up to three. I don't know why. I would probably kept it at one, maybe two, but not three. But, you know, Konami, you do what you want to do. I don't care. Um, you see, in OCG, they didn't get three Black Rowan ones. They stayed at two, because Konami OCG probably felt like, you know, with two is enough. It's only our Konami. It was like, three? Three is great. Three is, yeah. You know, they're getting new Blackwing support. They got like, what, one, two new monsters that were trash and they don't run it in any way? If that was Konami, that's what I would uh, put up the three, promote the new monsters. No one wants to play it. No one likes it. Alright, Black Rowan's going back down to two. <laughs> but, you know, what? whatever. Uh, and, of course, Book and Dark Hole. Staple. S staples. Uh, now we move on to Traps. Obligatory bottom the the four cards bottomless, uh, warning, torrental, compulse. You know, I definitely recommend these four, pretty much over any trap, in uh, that you can run, because they can be responded to immediately. They're an immediate response, along with fiendish chain. But the problem with fiendish chain, it doesn't get rid of the monster. So you know, they summon some big old you know, three thousand, four thousand beater, and you chain it up. You can't get over that shit. You know, uh, these, on the other hand, they're immediate response. You know, they summon something, immediate response. You know, uh, Phoenix Chain, also immediate response. But, you know, Mirror Force and Deep Prison, not immediate responses. But, uh, of course, we're going to run the two Mirror Forces because you have to punish the overextenders because overextenders need to be punished. This deck doesn't overextend too much, so it's not if too afraid to get hit. And, of course, with Icarus being attacked, being a response to your opponent's back row, you know, but when your opponent tries to overextend, flip up that Mirror Force. I definitely recommend Mirror Force over Deep Prison in this format, especially how aggressive this format is. Deep Prison, you know, going against decks like, uh, Gergi Akata Curry and Mermel and, and Herpes and Fire Fist. Well, I guess not so much Fire Fist, but sometimes Fire Fist do have a, more than one monster. <laughs> you know, and with a whole bunch of these decks that can easily summon more than one monster, you know, what, what's your little D person going to do? You know, 
Now, mirror force on the other hand, mirror force will handle that situation. I've won duels because my opponent has overextended, and I just flip with that mirror force, and they run out of resources. So, um, I've also lost duels to mirror force. You know what? I like mirror force over T-Person. That's just me personally. When Lance is a card that people, people run, and Lance can only save one monster, you know, I attack you. T-Person, Lance. Okay, that did nothing. On the other hand, it's like, I have four monsters. I attack. Mirror force. Uh, I'll lance this monster and lose all the rest of them, you know. So, yeah, Mirror Force. I'm liking Mirror Force over Deep Person. So, that's just my personal opinion. And, of course, we run three Icarus Attack, lots of Beast Warriors. Um, as you can see, I do not run, uh, was it Cards of Black Feather? Because I just said that this deck had consistency issues, I had a problem with getting monsters in hand. Why the hell would I want to activate a card that's kind of like a Lord of Darkness that banishes my freaking Black Wings? Same thing with a Lord of Darkness. I don't want to banish my Black Wings, I need my Black Wings. My Black Wings are the most important thing in here. I can't be banishing any of them, so no, I don't run none of that. Of course, I wouldn't be mine willing to tribute one of my Black Wings to two to you, of course. You know? Especially if, you know, it's a chain to something. Like, I summon sure and you go bottomless. Sure, I'll go Icarus attack. You know? Destroy two of your other cards and make you go neg one. Why not? So, Icarus attack is uh, definitely good. And the reason why uh, this deck has been doing so well as it has been doing. It's not it's not whirlwind, it's this card. Uh, now, I still don't understand how you contribute a face down monster that really confuses me, but you know what? Whatever. Icarus attack is Icarus attack. People want Icarus attack to be hit, but then of course we gotta turn to, you know, I forgot what it was called. Uh, something Snake Deity that pretty much does the same thing for reptiles. So, yeah. It's just, you know, it's just that Black Queens use it, Herpes use it, you know. But if anything would be hit, I wouldn't say this card. I wouldn't say this card. And we run uh, Delta Crow Anti Reverse, which is pretty much like their Heavy Storm, which is totally dumb. Like these themes, Heavy Storms are pretty much dumb. So if I have a face up Black Wing, uh, I can destroy all spells and traps and face down spell and traps my opponent's controlled. And if I have exactly three, I can play this from my hand. Cause yeah, sure, why not play a trap card from your hand? But I generally don't. I just summon a black wing, protect it, set this card, then my opponent sets some back row in the end phase, I flip this up, and then blows up all their back row, and then they neg. They neg so hard, so, yep. Uh, we'll go through this, the extra deck, which pretty much didn't get changed since, uh, you know, my viewer gave me the deck. I just pretty much changed the main deck, and I didn't change the side deck. So we got this guy. I never summoned him. Don't even know what he does. Uh, one black wing, tuner, and two or more. Non tuner monsters. I don't like that. That's too much for how how many stars is he? Nine? Eight? Eight? No, I'd probably never summon him. This card is same summon, so I can show up to two face up monsters with unfit with defense lower in this card's attack. He has twenty eight okay. This card cannot duck your battle phase yet just effect. Eh. The next time a black wing monster you control will be destroyed with battle and turn it is not destroyed. This effect only happens once. No. I'm not a big fan of that card. Uh, got Armor Master. He's pretty much the best synchro that this deck has for it. You know, can't be destroyed by battle by card effect. I mean, can't be destroyed by battle. Can't be destroyed by card effects. Uh, you pick no battle damage. So it's kind of has that U Bell theme. Of course, with U Bell coming out first, this deck, this card, pretty much copying U Bell. Uh, you put a wedge counter if this card battled in, and uh, during your main phases, so, you know, some people are like, oh, battle phase, move, the well, no, only during your main phase, you can remove all the wedge counters, and then, uh, the attack and defense of monsters that had, the wedge counter becomes zero to the end phase, so, pretty decent card, when you get it out, it's definitely annoyance, your opponent has destroyed by card effects, and they can't show up a battle, so it's kind of an annoyance, pretty good annoyance, too. b Rose, the second makes seven, love to feel, why not? Um, Iron Chain, I don't know why, I guess... Since you can make six sixes, I guess so. You just uh, s summon him, him summon one of these two, make uh, iron chain. I guess they're better sixes in my opinion than that. But yeah, I'd rather run an H T S than iron chain because this card just help, this card actually might even help your opponent, especially going, depending on what deck you're going up against. Milling off three cards off the top of your opponent's deck, eh? You know, if you're running some dragon deck, I don't recommend this card. And we got Armored Wing. Uh, he's okay. He has Pierce Damage, gains an extra 500 when he battles the defense position monster, so he would go up to 28. It's pretty good, pretty good. I would definitely, me personally, I would take this out. 
I would definitely actually you know what I'm gonna take this out right now because I wasn't even following my own damn rule. And that's what's really sad. And I didn't notice it just till now. Cowboy should be in there, definitely. So no. Uh Vulcan. Vulcan's good. You're probably gonna have a face up spell uh with Black Rowan so you can summon Vulcan, bounce back the Black Rowan, bounce back one of your opponent's cards, so pretty decent. Uh Marty's because you can make it. Marty's is definitely one of the best maybe the best five synchro, so definitely a Marty's. Um, there's actually, like, something with ARG, with cheating and stuff, where opponent attack with Amartes, and the opponent tried to battle fade it, which of course you can't, and they put the battle fade to the graveyard when it sh shouldn't have, no, I think it was Swift Care Card Battle Fader, one of the two, and of course, uh, you cannot activate the card, so, yeah, and the rolling and whatever, and cheating, I don't know, you got this guy, this guy, he's not good, he's not good, oh, get out of here, he's not good, really can't do much with him. Uh, you can special summon a black one level four or black wing monster. So he pretty much a connection to go up to an eight, I guess. Because you summon him and then you use the effect special summon a level four or lower black wing non monster from your hand, but the effect are negated. Uh, of course with this guy not being able to be special summoned, the only two targets for synchro or tuners are this guy and this guy. Of course the effect negated so you can get this, summon this, and then you sync for eight. Of course, you probably thinking, well, you know, you can value it. No, you can't, because this card must be Synchro Summon. Value does not Synchro Summon, it just Special Summons the monster from the extra deck, therefore, you cannot do that. So, this guy is just not as good as it could be. Of course, and you won't get its effect, because you only get the effect when this card is Synchro Summoned anyway. So, yeah. And, uh, I'll address this catastrophe. Yeah, you make fives, why not? Kill the black. Black ship, why not? I don't know why black ship is in here, but not cowboy. I don't know. I don't understand. But yeah, you know black ship. You just send the card and it take a thousand. Pretty good. Uh, I put it up there. It's a few of the top uh, eights. Oh, 101. Yeah, definitely when it comes out. I think it's coming out as an ultra rare, so uh, it should be a little bit expensive, but not too expensive. Um, it's going to be a staple, definitely. I could see it going for maybe maybe $20. It's because it's going to be a staple, you know? And it's an ultra rare, and everybody wants to play it. Like, you know how Master Keybeater was getting that hype? That wasn't even a staple. Not everybody can play Master Keybeater on their hand to hand. Everybody can play 101. So, yeah, I can definitely see this card being a few, a couple of bucks. Maestro, go to XC, you know? You, you can make a Maestro. Uh, Diamond Dire Weapon is actually pretty decent in the deck higher than the other one because you can ship a Winged Beast and then destroy a card, so it doesn't have to simply just kill itself to uh, destroy. Uh, opponent's card. You got Evil Swarm Excite on Knight. Did they change his name? Evil Swarm Knight Beelzebuff? Did they change his name again? I thought it was Excite on Knight. I don't even know. It's is it is it Noble Swarm Beelzebuff? Is it Evil Swarm Knight Beelzebuff? Or is it Evil Swarm Extinction or Excite on Knight? I don't know. You know. Anyway, uh, this guy is definitely definitely a staple. You can make four. So he's gonna be in there because he's gonna pretty much turn around the game for you. Um, you know, he pretty much wipes the field. I was actually looking for, like, looking at pre-order prices and such on eBay and Amazon and such. Um, right now, sneak preview-wise, he's probably going for around $130. So, uh, of course, today being uh, the day of the sneak peek, uh, go ahead and make sure you pick up your, uh, if you open this, don't trade it, just hold on to it. Because this guy is a pretty penny, and he's definitely a staple. Of course, we've got that obligatory cowboy. I already talked about it. If you can make fours, put in cowboy. Cowboy wins games, you know. Especially in this deck, you know. You can uh, attack with Shura or a monster. Summon out a freaking Bora. Attack with Bora. Drop the clue. Oh, your opponent has less than 800 life points. Main phase two, making cowboy. Bang bang game, you know. So uh, definitely, in my opinion, if you got fours. You can make fours. Run cowboy because he will win you games. He will. And then. I was main because I don't know why. I think I made it like once or so, I think. So, yeah. You got some threes. You can back can be pushed up against the wall. It has consistency issues. Might need to stall make his end mains. Alright, so that was the deck profile for Black Wings. I hope you guys missed the deck. I'm going to miss it. Not much. I'm not a big fan of this deck, but yeah, whatever. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy Heraldics and Daily Duels. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Gear Gear Katakuri.